Hello everybody, welcome to NJ Kelly Garden Family. It is a great day. As promised, I told you guys I will be addressing figs. Now, we have three varieties of figs. So let's just go one by one and talk about which is great to start with as a beginner fig grower. Can you fig it? I can. So guys, let's just take a look at how to properly feed your figs and what is a burper and a main crop. Now, as you guys can see, this we have three fig trees. This is our newest variety. We purchased it as a cutting. If we place it in a five gallon container right there, and we are in our fig and uh, berry lane here. However, I want to show you guys this is our new variety and it's an improved brown turkey. I don't know what that means. This is by Dave Wilson Nursery. Um, I don't know if they had issues with the original brown turkey. I'm not going to, I don't know. However, this is, the, this is the new name for it. And it, this is a great fit for my zone, Zone 9B here in Central Valley of California. And because it does tremendous, tremendous amount of growth and uh, fruit production and not just this fig tree but the um, mission fig and other cultivars that we can grow here in the central valley i'm not gonna get into all the fig trees but as we walk along here there are over 5,000 variety of figs common and uncommon including common and uncommon figs as i walk here you can see that this is fig tree is doing marvelous right now we, we as you guys know figs love heat and here in central valley we are blessed with dry humidity but a lot of high temps um and cool temps because we're, we're near the ocean and so we have we are blessed um to be like in the middle um of everything one thing i want to show you um and teach you guys is that uh, first of all, let me just say this, the, the des this Kodota and the Desert King that's on my right, um, your maybe, well, yeah, my right, your left, whatever, you know, the case may be, this fig tree here, um, both fig trees were purchased almost at the same time, they're going on two years now, uh, will be three in 2021, uh, and we purchased both of these as five gallon containers. Both of them just went through their burper crop stage. Burper crop means that the first stage of fruit. Main crop is when you get the most amount production of, off of your fig. Now, that doesn't mean that every fig will do give you a second crop. Sometimes a fig may just give you one crop because number one, um, that's the type of variety it may be, or number two, where, where what zone and what climate you live in so it all depends on the variety of fig uh that you purchase that would do great in your growing zone uh and city or state you live in now we are right now in the process of our main crop and this is funny because uh especially for the desert king usually it won't um give off a, a, a main crop um late uh in the season august mid august and late august is, is when they do the um, most production and sometimes depending on where you live it will only give you half of that production and drop the rest of its fruit from what i understand now this fig tree is very very common in the northwest especially in the state of washington they, this thing grows vigorous just like our brown turkey here this brown turkey does the same for us in the central valley it loves it out here i don't know why because this is my first time growing it but it loves it out here so what we did was we just harvested now our figs from this variety here because our cadota uh dropped all this fruit um because of the high high temps but the desert king took the high temps and was like a champion and as you can see here we have one here okay 
and this is a note which is a new branch coming through or new new leaf production here's another one okay and in between here right there is a fig like here and here is another one in between there so we have a lot of new figs popping up out, out of nowhere right now and we are in the last week going on the last week of uh july and so it's it's not a lot of fruit uh but it's enough to get start uh give us something because i already know that next year it's gonna be amazing uh one thing you do want to be careful if i can see this i know i want to show you basically how to feed but you also want to be careful when it comes to your leaves because the leaves also can get damaged by sunburn and fungus you will see like a rust on your face that means you need to uh use a fungal side um spray okay and as you can see the leaf pattern is huge and it's totally different each leaf pattern is like where it's different see this one look at that it's bigger than my hand guys it's legit i'm sorry for my fingers y'all you know I know they look crappy right now, <laughs> but um, it's bigger than my hand, and it's amazing. How you want to feed your figs? Well, basically, you want to make sure you give it uh, a compost earthworm castings, right? Uh, every every uh, after growing season. Once you do that, you want to f fertilize it with uh, tomato vegetable fertilizer. I use this product by EB Stone. Um, and it does wonders. So every four weeks, you want to come in, fertilize. Then you want to get you a fish fertilizer and seaweed extract. I'm gonna show you that right now. So guys, here it is. Okay, these are just two products I use. Now the other product is in the back, but as you can see here, I have uh, all-purpose. Uh, all-in-one fertilizer which is a 323 fish kelp with molasses and then I also have seaweed extract okay you can tell I use my products right because I didn't even wipe the model off but screw for that but you want to use these both both of these products bi-weekly the reason why you want to use it bi-weekly is because you want to make sure that the nutrients are actually getting absorbed in the in the, in the as a soil drench and it's also absorbent into the leaves as a foyer when you do a foyer spray. Now, you want to make sure you have a scheduling. Okay, put it in your calendar, uh, or in your journal, your garden journal, or even in your phone. You know, and your reminders when to fertilize. Uh, use a fish fertilizer or seaweed extract. For me, if I don't want to use this product here, I use a regular fish fertilizer, 511 Alaska's fish fertilizer. Um, and uh, I use this seaweed extract with kelp, and I also use um, all sur um, unsurfered molasses, okay, and make my own fertilizer, okay, especially if I don't want to use this product here, okay. So, as a soil drench, one week you want to do a soil drench, the next week you want to do a foil spray. When you do a foil spray, I'm going to explain to this to you right now, guys, do not foil spray with dry leaves you want to wet the leaves first okay once you wet those leaves you want to go 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 back and foil spray okay uh, in a one gallon foil spray two gallon foil spray and apply it the application okay on the leaves all you need is one tablespoon per gallon on both if it's a foil spray with your foil spray on um, container or in a buck um five gallon or four gallon bucket no matter what type of container it is as if it has so many gallons you want to do that amount of amount of gallons to one tablespoon per gallon all right so it is very very important also to water the when you see fruit on on your on your trees okay on the between the branching figs love um love water but they don't love too much water when they get root rot so you got to be very careful okay check the soil make sure the soil is wet okay make sure that soil is wet 
once you know it's wet you don't have to water but when you have fruit you want to at least water twice a week okay because they are thirsty and uh they need their their that water to produce um the fruit that it needs okay in the sun okay so again bi-weekly so you drench one week the next you want to do a foliar spray once a month you come in with your granular feed of my eb stone this is a product i use tomato vegetable fertilizer okay as long as you have fruit on this tree you want to do this bi-weekly once a month once the fruit is done with you don't you don't necessarily have to feed it the tomato vegetable fertilizer but you can give it this okay all right when the tree goes dormant you do not have to feed feed that is product okay because it is it's actually sleep only thing you need to give it is compost because what's going to happen especially if you give it seaweed extract which has nitrogen okay all it's going to do is force it to actually uh grow out prematurely you don't want that you want to wait okay for my growing zone okay uh we i start feeding it tomato vegetable fertilizer in january because that's when it starts to wake up all right now i'm in zone 9b okay so in the next content guys uh in the, in the coming months once this go dormant nj kelly garden family we're going to show you how to prune fig trees to get new uh branching okay so stay tuned for that video i hope this uh, uh content has actually uh blessed you and you was able to learn today on what to do when you have uh, your second um and your last crop which is your main crop that is going right now on this kadota and also on our desert king here okay and this is what some of you should be going through right now in the uh and as summer actually ends is getting on your last crop of leaf of fruit some variety of figs even even have a later season so like i told you depending on your growing zone and the climate you live in you may get a second crop and that will be your last crop this is nj kelly garden family i appreciate all of you thank you all for coming and tuning in tonight i hope that you guys have a blessed day and a blessed week remember to grow what you love to eat thank you to every new subscriber who have subscribed to our channel we will see you in the next one peace i made an error figs will drop their fruit only when it's above 100 degrees and not enough water or too much water thank you for a blessed day